All right, here's day four dilations in the coordinate plane. So dilations. How does scale factor tell me if a shape is enlarged or reduced? All right, there's a lot of stuff going on going on here. If you've never heard of dilations in the coordinate plane before, our essential question even introduces more vocabulary. So um, we got to like make sure that we're just speaking the same language um, when we're talking about dilations. So dilations are just a change in size. So let's lay the groundwork. A dilation is a transformation that enlarges or reduces a figure by a scale factor. So it just makes something larger or smaller. And the scale factor tells us um, if it gets bigger or smaller and by how much. So scale factor is the ratio of the lengths between two figure shapes or items. So for us, it's going to be figures and shapes. Um, it can be real life items too. So like the scale on a map, um, the scale for a model, any of those things. So in my class, we actually found scale factors for real things, um, just to kind of compare them. Um, I am not a short man. Uh, I am actually 74.5 inches tall. That's six foot two and a half. So um, one way to think about this is by comparing my height to your height. Um, so if you're a typical eighth grader and you're somewhere in the neighborhood of five foot five, that would make you 65 inches tall. So I am definitely taller. So 74.5 over 65 would give you a scale factor. And that scale factor would be bigger than one because to get from your height, which is in this hypothetical situation, 5'5", five, five, to my height, 6'2 and a half, you have to get larger. Um, so in my class, we went through and we measured foot to foot, height of, to height, or weight. And I said, be honest, but a lot of people just said they were a thousand pounds and it was great. Um, that's half a ton. Um, and your hand on another student's hand, just to, just to get an idea of what ratios mean and what they look like in real life. But, uh, in, uh, the coordinate plane, um, this scale factor of one half tells us something to do something very specific. Um, so the fraction says that we're going to get smaller, and we're going to divide by 2. The numerator is 1, the denominator is 2. I'm going to take each of the, the coordinates for points and divide them by 2. So negative 4 divided by 2 is 2, uh, negative 2. Uh, negative 1 divided by 2 is negative half, and so on until I get all of these points. So here I have all of the points from the original shape, and I have m divided them by 2. And if I graph that on my other coordinate plane, you see that the shape gets smaller, much smaller. In fact, I have uh, a half of a point, um, negative one half. So I'm not even going down a whole box, um, which is fine. Fractions are numbers too, so it's not a big deal. Um, go ahead and practice this, and you're going to be dividing when you see fractions. Okay, cool. And there's a lot of um, dilations practice floating around the internet, so if you want to Google up practice for dilations in the coordinate plane, that'll also be a huge help for you. Uh, to keeping moving forward, we're going to look at um, trapezoid R-A-I-N, trapezoid rain. And so here the scale factor is 2. So that means it's going to get much larger. And so I'm going to multiply each of the coordinates in R-A-I-N by 2. So negative 2 times 2, 1 times 2, 1 times 2, 1 times 2, 0 times 2, etc. And I will have the following points. And you can see negative 2 became negative 4 because I multiplied by 2. 1 became 2 because I multiplied by 2. And if I graph those points, the shape, the trapezoid, gets much larger in the coordinate plane. And that's all a dilation is. It's a change in size. So much so I've got airplanes flying overhead. To help you remember. Yeah, that's right. Um, R-A-I-N, scale factor of positive 2 gets multiplied. I uh, highly suggest you look around the internet and find other practices to dilate shapes in the coordinate plane. But honestly, if you're in my class, that's the end of this uh, exploration. Write your summary. Make sure your table of contents are updated. Until next time, keep doing the math.